More and more families are turning to shelters for help because of the spike in gas prices and groceries making it hard to get by. KXY 4's Tanya Dahl joins us live from the Salvation Army on East Indiana Avenue. And Tanya, some shelters are having to turn people away because the need is so great. Tonight at the Salvation Army location, 20 families are on a waiting list for the emergency shelter. And across town at the House of Charity, they've had to turn away 84 people. And they fill their capacity of 108 beds every night. More and more Spokane families are turning to local agencies for help. Well, I was strung out on speed, been an alcoholic, you know. Uh, I kind of lived, tried to live the rock and roll lifestyle, and it kind of caught up to me, you know, riding trains. John Griffith spends his time here, trying to get back on his feet. After turning 50, Griffiths decided he wanted more for himself. And that's when he says Union Gospel Mission found him. I rode the freight train into town and normally the trains go right by here and they keep on going but the one I was on happened to stop right over here about two blocks away. Those struggling with addiction and the homeless aren't the only ones needing help these days. We have more and more families coming through our doors to eat for lunch and dinner. Today local agencies say a record number of working families and individuals are turning to organizations like Union Gospel Mission. Last year at this time we were averaging 84 stays a night and right now the average is 127. High gas prices, expensive groceries and lack of affordable housing are being blamed for the demand here in Spokane. The Salvation Army says this time last year it helped 700 people. This month alone they've seen 3,400. It's not families who don't normally pay their rent, who can't afford it next month, who aren't working. They're working, they're doing all this stuff, but something extra happened and they can't afford it. That's something Christine Arlott, a mother of three, understands. Her family is living at the Salvation Army's family emergency shelter. Worrying about not having a place to stay when our time is up here. It's just um, food. We were out of food for a long time. We've been going to different food banks around town and here and trying to get food to get through. As donations come in and more families look for help, Agencies around town are trying to keep up. We're nervous, but we'll see how that works out. And local agencies say they know times are tough, but they say keep the donations coming. They're always looking for canned and box goods like this. They're always also looking for school supplies. Kids are about to go back to school, and they're looking for backpacks, sneakers, anything that can help. Reporting live from East Spokane, Tanya Dahl, KXLY, HD News.